I was watching the sun today, as I do from time to time, attempting to diagnose the stability of these incoming plasma filaments we saw this morning. About 10 hours ago, I was watching the ionized iron signature dark and easily contrasted with the bright sunspot beneath it, and I noticed a small flicker in the corona. However, that will be easier to notice when I isolate the last frames here. Might not look like much, but if it looks like that in 171 angstroms, I knew I had to go look in 211. Here, we are still looking for ionized iron, but ionized to a higher degree, and encompassing more of the upper coronal mass that offers us a detailed view of the flicker-turned-ripple-like shockwave through the corona onto the Earth-facing disk that can only come from a powerful solar flare. Using stereo A to see what's behind that left side, the eastern limb we call it, and the speculation ends as Elvis leaves the building along with the double X-ray event that is likely to have been in the high M or X-class range, and obviously two coronal mass ejections shooting out as well. For perspective, the bright spots quietly creeping over the right side here are the bright ones we saw surrounding the plasma filaments incoming a minute ago. The sunspot group is still a few days from visibility and about 7 to 10 from directly facing Earth, so the eruption heading off the far side will not make impact with Earth's magnetic field. Instead, the wide eruption could glance both Saturn and Mars, with Jupiter dead in the crosshairs of the blast. Earth sits safely over to the left. Looking from coronagraphs, you see why we thought the burst was wide. At least the first one was. Second is slightly more concentrated, but both are going to miss Earth, as we said. We'll see that sunspot in a few days. I'll see you in the morning. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.